Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. Knuckleheads, it goes down this Saturday, May 18th, live from Saudi Arabia. And we're going to find out who is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. And it's the first time we'll have one of those in boxing. Get this, since Lennox Lewis did it back in 1999. Let me tell you, Lennox Lewis, for me, is one of the best heavyweights to ever do it. So this thing is historic. This thing is every boxing fan's dream because these two guys are incredibly technical, uh, incredibly interesting, incredibly skilled. And, you know, it's got drama too, right? Even today we had John Fury, Tyson Fury's dad, headbutt an innocent bystander in Alexander Usyk's entourage. So, you know, this thing's getting spicy. This thing's getting heated. Every time the Furies are involved, are involved there's a lot of fury uh, leading up to the fight. And so we're excited about it. But... Who wins this fight, right, and why? Well, let me tell you guys what I think about this fight. Let's go through some numbers because I am a numbers guy, right? First and foremost, Tyson Fury is actually a year younger than Alexander Usyk. Now, I don't think this will make a huge difference because Fury hasn't really treated his body as well as he should have, and I think Alexander Usyk has, right? I think he's a very consummate professional and doesn't have the ups and downs that Fury does, you know, so that's an interesting situation, you know, an interesting clash of personalities, not just styles, but personalities, so I don't think there'll be a big difference there as far as age go, now, where I could see, believe it or not, one guy slipping more, right, is, is Tyson Fury, because he's so much taller, I think it takes more toll on the body when you're six foot nine, like he is, and of course, with all the stuff he's done, you know, drugs and alcohol and this and that. So if anybody is kind of suffering the age, uh, I guess, disadvantage, it would be Fury in this case. But I want to say he's not. You know, I want to say he didn't look as good as he looked in his last fight versus Ngannou because he just wasn't really prepared for that fight. I don't think he really got himself up for that fight. So as far as age, you know, I'll say it's even, but maybe a slight advantage for Usyk, who seems to take care of himself a bit better. Next, let's look at experience. You know, you've got Fury, who as a pro has had 33 fights. Usyk's had only 20. You know, having 13 more professional fights than your opponent, who's a year older than you, is significant in the sport of boxing, right? Especially considering Fury's had all his fights at heavyweight. Usyk is a cruiserweight who moved up, despite the fact that he unified cruiserweight, and I'm very impressed by that. He is still a cruiserweight moving up, right? So obviously you got to give the experience advantage to Tyson Fury. Now I would imagine perhaps Usyk had a lengthier amateur uh, experience, but we're doing pro boxing here. We're not doing amateur boxing. And so I got to give Tyson Fury the experience edge in this one, right? Also, you know, Tyson Fury's had 23 knockouts. Usyk has had 13. And despite the fact that, you know, Fury's had 13 more fights, you know, I still think this is significant, this difference, because, you know, Fury, even though he wasn't really known as a knockout puncher throughout his career, has shown, especially recently, that he can knock people out. We saw that in the Wilder fights, who's, you know, Deontay Wilder's a very durable guy. So I think, you know, Fury not only has the experience advantage here, I think he has the power advantage as well, right? We haven't really seen Usyk you know, really knock somebody out, hurt them really bad at heavyweight as far as I can remember. I mean, the last devastating shot I saw him land on someone, I want to say it was probably against Tony Bellew, a guy I really like a lot. But, you know, that's that's as far as it goes. I think Fury definitely has the power advantage in this fight, right? And that's a great segue into the reason he probably has the power advantage because he's also got the leverage, right? Because he's got the height and the weight. I mean, Fury is going to be the much bigger man on the night. Six foot nine is what he's listed at. Now, I don't know how accurate that is. I feel like he's probably closer to six, 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 seven. I would love to see him get measured, you know, because I feel like when he fights opponents uh, that are close to his height, they seem a bit taller and he doesn't seem to be six foot nine, but he's going to be the much bigger man on the night, whether he's six, seven, six foot nine, whatever it is, Usyk's only six, three. Um, and so... Fury is going to be the much taller guy. And get this, the reach advantage is 7 inches for Tyson Fury. An 85-inch reach for Tyson Fury versus just 78 inches for Alexander Usyk. Now, 78 inches is not you know, a bad reach or wingspan by any means. 
but 85 inches is absolutely ridiculous, right? The other thing we got to look at is it's an orthodox fighter in Fury taking on a southpaw uh, in Usyk, which will make things very interesting as well. You know, uh, they kind of have each other's kryptonite, uh, if you will, in their straits, right? So going to be an interesting fight, but I just see Tyson Fury having a lot of physical advantages in this fight, right? The other thing is, you know, I think the way Usyk wins this fight is through athleticism. But is he really going to out-athlete Tyson Fury? I just don't think so. I think Tyson Fury's movement is as good as Usyk's movement. I really do. I just think, and this is me believing this personally, right? And I have a lot of conviction in this. I think Usyk's style, as amazing and interesting as it is, requires a lot of energy. And I don't think it's as effective in dealing with range as Tyson Fury's style, right? I think Tyson Fury does not have to expend all the energy fighting a much shorter guy in Usyk who is going to have to expend a lot of energy in getting to Tyson Fury and getting around that reach, right? I think Fury's going to sit back. I think Fury's going to pick his shots. I don't think he's going to be worried about the power that's coming back at him because Usyk is not really known for that power. On the other hand, Usyk is going to have to constantly work to get around Tyson Fury and his jab. And he's going to have to worry about the power from a 280, 290, 275 pound, whatever he is, six foot nine man. Now, Fury looks to be in great shape in this fight. So he might be in the 270s, maybe even 260, but I doubt it. I would say around 270, but it's still, it's still going to be way, way heavier, way, way bigger than Alexander Usyk. And when you're talking about all the leverage that's coming in from a guy weighing that much that has an 85-inch wingspan, you know, he's a nightmare to deal with. And then on top of it, on top of it, Fury can move. He's athletic and he can move. So for me, knuckleheads, you know, as much respect as I have for Usyk, as much as I admire his style, what he's done and unifying at cruiserweight, coming up to heavyweight and beating Anthony Joshua, I don't believe he's fought anyone as tall, as Tyson Fury, as skilled as Tyson Fury, and that understands how to use distance and manage range the way Tyson Fury does. I think Anthony Joshua fought the completely wrong fight against Alexander Usyk when he fought him. It still went to a decision. Um, I would be curious to see how Anthony Joshua would have done under Ben Davison, but we're neither here nor there. We'll see if that happens in the future based on whoever wins this fight. And then even then, there's a rematch clause, right? At the end of the day, my prediction for this fight, Tyson Fury wins by decision or by late stoppage, right? That's what I'm predicting here. I think he could catch Usyk to the body and get him out of there the way we saw Daniel Dubois really hurt Usyk to the body. Or I think Tyson Fury just outpoints him by sitting back and just touching him whenever he wants while Usyk tries and tries and tries and, in my opinion, fails to get to Tyson Fury using his footwork because of, you know, he's going to be at such a huge reach disadvantage. So, knuckleheads, tell me what you think about this fight. Who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comment section below. After you do that, like, subscribe, share this video, and join the channel. Help me continue to grow this channel. It's just $9.99. And we're going to keep growing and building the best striking show on earth, which is Fighters Rep. We've got Fighters Rep 23 on June 1st in Papado Beach, Florida. Fighters Rep 24 on June 8th at the beautiful Commerce Casino in Los Angeles, California. Get your tickets at fightersrep.com or join the channel and watch the events live. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this. Also, if you also want to support, hey, drop a super chat or get your merchandise in the link below. I look forward to hearing it.